Oh, oh my god! Oh. This is too crazy. Yes! Sticker on my leg. Oh, I'm gonna be excited. I got my driver's license last week. You know what's talking about? Oh. You're Connor? Connor. I feel like we're filming the Deja Vu music video right now. Hey guys, so before we jump straight into this vlog, I kind of did want to make this little disclaimer of what's going on. Just jumping straight to the point, I did not buy this car. It was given to me by my grandparents. If you don't really care about this disclaimer, just skip to this time and it'll go straight to the vlog. To put the whole story into context, because I didn't really explain it in the vlog. Long story short, for about a year, I have been saving up to buy my first car. I'm 20 years old, I'm going to be turning 21, and since last spring in 2020, I made it a goal to save up and buy a car by this spring. I was completely ready. I had three cars in mind that I wanted to go and test drive and all that fun stuff. I saved enough money up. I was ready and that's literally what I was planning to do. But then it just so happened with timing and everything, my grandparents reached out to me a few months ago and told me in buying a new one and that they wanted to give me their old car because my grandparents are very passionate about their cars especially their Mustangs. They have been driving Mustangs since before I was born. It's my Nana's absolute favorite car in the world, and I knew how much this car meant to them. It is a 2009 Ford Mustang GT convertible, and it's the 45th anniversary car. I know how much that car means to her, and the fact that she wanted to give it to me, I was... I still am very mind blown. My grandparents are some of the most supportive people in my life. They've been to every soccer game, every basketball game, every school recital in my entire life. I'm so grateful and it is such a privilege. And even though it was kind of like an ongoing joke with them since I was a kid, I was like, hey, like, when are you gonna let me have a Mustang? My grandparents have been Mustang fanatics the whole time I've existed and growing up I obviously loved Mustangs it had that impression on me and it's always been one of my dream cars because of that impression that I've had my whole life the car that they're giving me has been in my life since I was nine years old in 2009 is when they got it it has driven me to so many places I have so many memories in that car I was really iffy about even making this video and putting it on the internet because I do know I put a lot of things that happen in my life on the internet and everyone is entitled to their own opinion of what I put out but I don't want to come off as spoiled or trying to show off ooh look what grandma and grandpa gave me it's not that at all as I said I was saving up for my own car and I was planning a buying my first car video and all of that but with timing and everything it happened like this and I'm very grateful that my first car is happening like this I've had so many conversations about this with my boyfriend I'm just I'm scared that I don't want people to perceive me in some spoiled brat kind of way. That is one of my biggest fears is coming off spoiled or ungrateful. So that's why I wanted to throw this disclaimer in the beginning of the video. The car itself is being gifted to me, but obviously everything else I am paying for. Insurance, maintenance, registration, the stickers, the plates, all that shabam is all on me now. It is my responsibility to take care of this car which I will. It is literally my baby now. And yeah, and like you guys are gonna see it in my videos, so might as well be open with how I actually got the car. I guess that's kind of all I have to say in this disclaimer. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm warning you in advance, I act just very jittery and just like ah, through the whole video. It was a big thing and I was so overwhelmed, but I was very excited and grateful. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video of how I got my first car, which is a 2009 Ford Mustang GT convertible. We're just gonna pretend you can't see the mess behind me because no one has time to clean today. Basically, I have one class left. It is 11.20 right now, and I wanted to give my grandparents a gift before we go sign some papers and stuff. In, like, Ontario, you have to sign some, like, sworn statement for a family gift of a used vehicle in the province of Ontario. That's, like, what the form's called. I just can't show you guys because, like, it's signed and whatever, but I just printed this out and filled it. But I wanted to show you guys what I got my grandparents. I found it on Etsy, and I'll have it linked down below. Anyone that has a car, this is a really great gift idea. I'm definitely going to be reusing this gift idea. Both my grandparents for their cars, they've been using like really old beaten up keychains to like hold their keys and I really wanted to get them one that was like kind of special and I know they're literally giving me a car and I got them keychains but it is the thought that 
counts. So I got them these leather keychains to hold their car keys that were laser engraved with the logos of their cars and their names. So I thought it was pretty cool. They're actually really good quality. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like laser engraved into the leather. There's the Shelby logo for my Nana's car and their Mercedes-Benz logo for my grandpa's car. And then in the back, it just has their names. Not like their actual names, but it's like what my sister and I call them, Nana and Toto. So yeah, they each got their own little lanyard to carry their car keys, because what they have before. If I can show it to you guys, I will. It is literally falling apart. They're both a sucker for leather, especially my Nana. I'm really excited to give them these. My next class literally starts in seven minutes, and then I'm gonna go see them, and we're gonna go to Service Ontario to sign all the paperwork and get myself a plate to put on it and all that fun stuff. As you can tell, I'm talking like really fast because I'm really nervous because I literally had to find an insurance place super last minute, but I also wanted to find a really good deal because you want to like compare and get quotes from so many different places. So I finally found the place I want to go to and they're supposed to send me all the paperwork this morning and it's now 11.24. So I called her and was like, hey, I kind of really, really need it today. And she's like, I promise I'll get it to you before noon. So it's 12.24. So she has exactly 36 minutes to get it to me or I'm gonna have a heart attack because today's the day so oh I'm so excited except I don't know what to wrap these in I don't just want to hand it to them I want to wrap it I don't have any gift boxes I didn't really think this through this is the only gift bag I have in my disposal it is a Santa Claus gift bag I'm going to wrap them in tissue paper write their names tape it on trust the process guys it'll still look like a nice gift I promise I swear I'm better than wrapping when I have the right supplies and I'm not in a rush I'm also sorry if I'm just acting very like jittery and just like ha ah. in this video I'm just very like that's literally what I'm feeling so it's fine, Merry Christmas. My class starts in two minutes and it's gonna be done in one hour. And I freaking need a coffee. I'm sorry, I'm like very like, oh, today's so exciting, today's so exciting. It's literally outside my house. Can I show you guys? You guys want a sneak peek? Okay. I don't wanna show the license plate, but um, there she is. That car has been coming in and out of my driveway since I was nine years old. Okay, okay I need to stop. I literally have a picture of myself in a red Mustang. It's not the exact model. It was the one my grandparents had before they bought that one. Maybe it was like a 2004 Mustang. My mom found it a couple days ago or maybe like a week ago. And it's just so pure. Oh my, I can't guys, I need I need to like chill. This is too crazy. Okay, I need to, I need to go in my class, bye. <laughs> My liability slips finally came. So we're good, we're gonna live, we're gonna survive, we're gonna make this through. Oh, I need to stop acting so weird. I'm done my classes now, I just ate some lunch and my grandparents are sitting outside and I think I wanna give them my um, Christmas present. So let's go do that. I'm not sure if they're gonna wanna be filmed, but we'll see. Yeah, it's one o'clock right now and the appointment's at 1.30, so we'll be leaving soon. I have a present for you guys, but I only had a Christmas bag, is that okay? Who's guys? You and Toto. What is it? It's just a little present that I got okay. for you guys. One's for you, one's for Nana. What's this? A red one? You don't know if they open or not. <laughs> you think I'm going to be excited? Maybe. Oh, a kitchen. A kitchen. Hmm. It's a snake. Do you know what snake name? <laughs> this is a cobra. That's the Shelby logo. Oh, the Shelby? <laughs> Did you, did you find it? Ooh. And turn it around. Holy Maria. <laughs> You're welcome. Say hi. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm going to shit myself. So it is now like 1.15 and my Nana and I are going to drive to Service Ontario. And guess who's driving? So yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can film, but I'll give you guys like a proper tour and show you everything later okay bye there is no scratch in here or dent okay <laughs> okay then you want to say hi to my video hello hi we're going to sign the papers <laughs> i'm back home now and i need to put my sticker on my license plate i already switched the plates out and it's super windy but i'm gonna put my sticker on and then it's official all right guys i'm picking evan up Evan's just grabbing an aux cord, but I'm going to open the roof. You know, it's been a while since I've done this in this car. You gotta unlatch these things. All right, are you guys ready for this? Because I'm not. <gasps> there it goes. <gasps> no. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you wanna 
is the ad of the vlog. Oh my, look at this vlogging setup. Isn't that cool? Yeah. What are your first initial thoughts? It's low, I can't find the seatbelt. You got the aux cord? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, this is so exciting. We got an aux here. We're gonna go back to my house, grab my dog. And I think I wanna go show Patricia what are we doing after. And then we're gonna go take my dog to the lake. You wanna say anything? Don't think so. That's your reaction? Oh, I wanna. He wants to ride. Okay. I wanna ride. Okay, wait. Yeah. No, just say what you just said. Yeah. This is Evan's first time in a convertible, guys. And I also haven't driven an automatic car in over a year. So. Not over a year, you drove. My mom's car before. Okay, that was like for 30 seconds. Guys, I'm calling Patricia to see if she's home because I know she will give me a good reaction. Not like Evans. So you like it? Yes, I do like it actually. I like the seats too. The seats are comfy. You gotta say pare. Well, I haven't even shown you guys like a proper like look of the car. I only showed it from my window. We'll get to that later. Hey, Sean. Hey, Patty. Um, are you busy right now? Um, I'm just eating. Why? <laughs> Are you like, do you, okay, in like approximately 10 minutes, do you have like five minutes to spare or more? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna call you again in 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Are you okay? I'm okay, I'm okay, don't worry. Oh, okay. Hey, okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Stitch's first time in a convertible, and I'm convinced he's gonna love it because he loves seeing his head out the window. Stitchy, you ready? You ready to feel the wind between your fur, buddy? Oh, hold on, Stitch. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I got my driver's license last week, like we always talked about. You were okay, I'm not saying I'm gonna copyright it if I keep singing, but you guys get the memo. Alright, guys, I'm outside Pat's house and we are gonna get her reaction, and I'm very excited. Hey, hey Patty, come outside. Outside? Yes. Okay, um... Oh, wait, don't oh, no, wait. In your car? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. Thanks for chest to pee. He's okay. You can take him out if you want. Closing the roof. This is your first time closing the roof? Well, like that I'm driving, yeah. Like when you're in it? When I'm driving. I've closed it before, Here like it in the past, and it goes like this. And then you, these latches, so push it in like this, and then it'll click. Okay, guys, so we're just gonna take Stitch for a walk by the lake, and then when we get back and the lighting's kind of better, I'm gonna give you guys like a mini tour. So, see you later. the deja vu music video right now um but basically guys we are out here kind of in the middle of nowhere but like look at this gorgeous lighting even though it looks kind of pale let's fix that um yeah it's kind of like golden hour right now in the middle of freaking nowhere why are we overexposed i kind of just want to give you guys a mini look now i'm super dark what's wrong with my camera broke oh there's a smudge on the lens maybe that's why um it's a little windy and this car is driving by, but I wanted to give you guys a quick little tour of this vid, this video. Quick little tour of the car. I am going to be doing a whole decorating and cleaning because there's a lot of work that I need to do on the inside to clean it and make it look brand spanking new. But I want to give you guys a little tour while we're parked on the side of the road. This is the driver's seat, obviously. 
got a nice wheel buttons that I'm still trying to learn what they do. These two buttons on the door are the windows and then these ones are the rear windows. And if you guys saw, this is the button to make the roof go open and close. <laughs> and um, it's automatic car, all the buttons here. Yeah, it's basically, it just looks like a normal car. And the back seat's only two people. Covering my, it's so dramatic. We get it, you drive a Porsche. <laughs> People always just try to show off their cars. Like, what is wrong with people these days? <laughs> that is what the front of the car looks like. And if you come around, this is the side. It is a special, like, 45th anniversary car, so it has this logo, like, all over. This is what the inside looks like. That's what my boyfriend looks like. Oh my god, it's so windy. You guys probably can hear me. There's only two seats in the back. The spoiler. It has this really pretty logo and lights and whatever. And yeah, and that's what it looks like. Wow, this is so this is so cute. When I like do a cleaning and stuff and like add all the accessories that I want, I'll give you guys a better look at it. This is just the as is version. Hey guys, and welcome to the outro on my iPhone just as I'm done editing this video because I forgot to do a proper outro as always. But I just want to say I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And again, I am so, so grateful that this was the way I got my first car. And I have so many other like car videos planned for you guys, like cleaning and organizing, decorating, all that fun stuff. Stay tuned for those videos because I got a lot of things coming in the mail and I can't wait to film those for you guys. My hair is super crazy, but here are the shoddy shadows of this video thank you guys for all your love and support thanks for joining me in this little big journey i guess milestone in my life i guess i don't know to me it's like a really big deal i've been a really big car kid since <laughs> i was i came out of my mom's uterus so this is a really big deal to me thank you guys for always supporting me and being so kind and i will see you in my next video bye